get back It resides between my eyes Walked through the fire Came out better on the other side See lights like a peach If you find the same And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider With your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of P90X, Atari, many more, how they overcome big challenges in life and business. Uh, Today, our sponsor is Rise25.com, where entrepreneurs of six, seven, eight-figure businesses come together live and in person every few months to solve their biggest business challenges and leave with lifelong friendships. Check out Rise25.com. It's run by myself and co-founder John Corcoran. It's application only. Today we have Wade. I'm really excited. It's been a long time since we've chatted. We have Wade Foster, co-founder of Zapier. And Zapier gives you internet automation superpowers. And it does this by making it easy to get your web apps to talk to each other. And I'll give you an example. So I use Zapier in two ways. One, someone fills out our Typeform application in Rise25, and it automatically imports that into Infusionsoft so we can make sure to stay in touch with people. Also, for Inspired Insider, for this, I use it when blog post gets published, it automatically posts the link on Twitter and Facebook. So my tagline Wade for Zapier is it's like having a virtual staff member focused on automation for a fraction of the price. So that's my personal tagline. And Zapier went from zero to over 1.4 million users and grew to 50 staff in five years. Wade, thank you for joining me. Yeah, I'm excited to be here, Jeremy. Thanks for a wonderful intro. (laughs) Yeah, that's my favorite tagline. Feel free to steal it. Yeah, Um, that's great. I love it. (laughs) But since it's inspired insight, I always ask what's been the lowest point and then how you push through, and then what's yeah. been the proudest moment. Yeah. Um, well, I think, you know, the toughest part, and, um, you know, you and I have talked about this before, is in, in 2012, my, my father unexpectedly passed away. Right. And that's tough. Um, you know, I, I've got hindsight, you know, now three years, and, and, and I've been able to, you know, come to terms on what that's like living with, you know, with not having him around anymore. But right. at the time... Like he was the guy that I went to for everything. Like when I have a tough spot, you pick up a call and call dad, right? Um, right. And, uh, you know, that was, you know, Zapier wasn't, you know, wasn't clear that it was going to be amazing success. Like we were still struggling to get things done and make progress and all that sort of thing. So yeah. I, it was like, it was really tough, like losing him kind of right there at the beginning. Yeah. Um, but, you know we were able to push through and, and, and now I can think back fondly and I remember a lot of his lessons that he shared and yeah. stuff. Like what, like what were that. some of the things that you, know, I you think remember? The thing that I remember most from him is just the way that he treated people. Um, you know, he always would go out of his way to like help somebody out or do something nice for them or try and help support them in whatever they were doing. Right. Uh, and so he made a lot more friends that way and he had a lot of people, I, I remember at like the you know the the kind of the week after he passed away, like people would just come out of the roadworks telling stories of all the stuff he'd done for mm. folks. I had no idea. Like That's I just amazing. was like totally clueless to these things that he'd done. Yeah. Um. And so it was like, wow. Like that's really how you build up. You know. I, I think he just did it because that's the kind of person he was. Right. But like, um, you can build up. You know people that are going to be there for you when you need it most by just treating them really well. Yeah. So I think that was big lessons I learned from him for sure. Yeah. 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 It's a tough to go through at any point in life, especially with all the Uh, chaos and everything else that you. Yeah. It's not not easy for anyone. um, That's for sure. Whether you're starting a company or not starting a company, it doesn't matter who you are. Like losing people close to you sucks. (laughs) Do you take time off at that time or how do you deal with it? Um, Because things are such weighed on your shoulders because if you stop working, it doesn't get built, right? It's not like you have a government job where you can leave and maybe, (laughs) you know, take a few days off and still be getting paid at the time. Things are only happen when you are there to make them happen. I was pretty lucky. You know, I had two good co-founders and and we had Micah at the time. So it was a team of four of us and and they were able to cover a lot of things, um, pick up slack. We, we weren't operating quite at the scale we are today either. So, um, 
you know, me being unavailable for like a few weeks was not the end of the world. Yeah. Um, and a lot of it ended up being the nice thing about it was I could work part time a little bit. So like you that was flexibility. Helpful, right? Like I was back in Missouri when that happened and I was able to like do two hours this day or four hours that day or whatever. Um, so I could keep the ball moving mm. even if it was less than what I was accustomed to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for sharing that. It's that's such a tough thing to go through, and yeah. I'm sure people, you know, have gone through that. Uh, we're listening. Um, what about proudest? Wow. Um, proudest moment. You know, there's so many things that um, are are like that make you proud. I, I think you know the thing that's really exciting for us is those. You know, I talked about the retreats that we do. Yeah, we do those twice a year. Every retreat is really cool because because we work remotely, you don't always visually get to see like all the people that are contributing to this. Like you don't you know that it's happening, but you don't see it, right? Yeah. But those retreats, we get to see all, you know, in this last one, 43 yeah, people come amazing. together all in the same room, you know, from various different walks of life from all over the world. Uh and you're like these 43 people, like we've been able to build something pretty special at Zapier. Yeah. And you're also just, I'm just incredibly thankful that yeah. they you know, spend their days helping me out on the thing that I, you know, I love. Um, yeah. So it's just like you feel proud and thankful and humble and all those yeah. things. What's um, I'm sure you do obviously the hackathon, but you do probably team break, you know, exercises. What's a breakthrough, like a team breakthrough, a company breakthrough that came from just being together? I don't know if you do any um, special, you know, exercises or activities with the with the team, and what's come out of it. You know, we talk a lot about. Um, we do a lot of roundtables, like share experiences, and you know, tackle that sorts of stuff. A lot of the you know, hackathon projects are like the best stuff because it's mm -hmm. you know the first inspiration for something that eventually is going to become, might become a key part of Zapier. Yeah. Uh, so I mentioned the Chrome push extension, but we also have, have a hand, like a whole Yeah, what are some of the other breakthroughs that so came? So like, if you go look at a lot of our built-in apps, they were started at retreats. So we've hmm. got the formatter, we've got digest, we've got delays, we've got storage, um, we've got a weather app. Like all these kind of built-in utilities as part of Zapier are, have, I think most of them have started at a retreat, hmm. um, which wow. is pretty cool. Um yeah, and it's also just a good time. I th you know, we treat it as just a good time to reflect and and just hang out with each other and just enjoy yeah. kind of the last you know six months accomplishments. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of what we use it for. Wade, this has been super valuable. Uh, I mm -hmm. really appreciate your time. Um, people should obviously check out Zapier Z A P I E R dot com. Where else yep. should they go to check out on your site that would be valuable? Yeah. So if you're um, you know. We've talked to, you know, Zapier.com is a place to check out for Zapier. Zapier.com slash Zapbook shows all the integrations we have. Definitely check out the blog, too, if you're interested in productivity, how to use apps. Um, Jeremy mentioned that earlier. And if you're interested in work, if you think this has been cool enough, like, and you want to join Zapier, check out jobs. Zapier.com slash jobs. Like, we're hiring, bring on more folks to the team. Is there uh, um, a job that's uh, typically people. common that you're always looking for people? Yeah, you know, we're pretty much always looking for help on our um, customer support, and we're pretty much always looking for engineering help. So if, if that kind of matches your background, mm -hmm. um, you know, we pretty much always have a spot for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Chrome extensions. Last question: Chrome extensions. I need to know what do you use oh, yes. as a power user? Let's see. Um, you know, LastPass. I'm big LastPass user. Huge. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, you block. So ad blocking. Like I just can't stand like most sites these days with the amount of ads they have obviously um, push by zapier goes without saying but we'll say it, there, yeah. yep, it is um i've got push bullet uh which is a pretty cool extension that allows me to push um you know files and urls and stuff between my phone and my machine mm. um so i like that i use buffer for tweeting I have Printfection's Chrome extension installed, which lets me quick generate a T-shirt link. So if I want to send someone a link where they can get a Zapier T-shirt, uh, <laughs> that's cool. I have that installed. What else do I? Have? Man, I have a couple other ones up here that I. Oh, ha! I've got one that's. Um, 
it's like a what's it called? Oh, display anchors. It's called like anchors away or something, which shows all the anchors on a site where mm. you can link directly to that spot on a page, uh, which is nice for really long pages. Mm. Um, sometimes you want to link a specific to a specific spot, so that display right. anchors one lets me get a link to the exact spot on wow. that page. That's uh, awesome. I have a like full browser screenshot um, flip shot that takes a screenshot of like the whole, uh, the whole page. Screen. Like, so you don't you know have to scroll, take screenshot, scroll, take another screenshot. Uh, very efficient. You're very efficient. You know, I got a whole bunch of stuff. I got a one. I have one tab, so it collapses all my tabs into one tab because oftentimes I get too many tabs open. Guilty. Uh, yeah. Yep. So there's a handful. There's more that I use, but those are some of the most common. Thank ones. you. Wade, I really appreciate it. It's always fantastic catching up. Yeah, thanks, Jeremy. I appreciate you having me on the show. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walked through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand.